drinking him this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while we drink it. It's lunchtime at Tampa's Trinity Cafe. Is everyone all right over here? Feeding Tampa Bay's restaurant for the hungry with meals served by volunteers. Volunteers like Joel Sittler. I come Monday through Friday. I can't get enough of the place. And with every plate, here you go, guys. He serves up a hearty smile with a side of sweet. Ding dongs today, and you guys got butter fingers. You'd never know what his menu looked like last year. So you lost a lot. Yes, I lost everything. I lost my career. I lost my house. I lost my wife. Joel was college educated, owned his own business, had a family, a loving wife and daughter. He had everything but control of his alcohol. I just drank my whole life away. I was what they call a functioning alcoholic if there's such thing. His family finally had enough and Joel ended up living on the street. Eight months ago, I was laying drunk in a gutter. And his rock bottom came at a Bradenton homeless shelter where he says he was treated like no one ever should be. And I made a promise to myself that if ever I was in the position to serve others with dignity, I would do so. I'll be right back with the salads. And so he does now, handing out daily servings of compassion. You've got to feel blessed in a way to have a, a place like this I that, that you're so comfortable and happy in. I am so lucky, so lucky. Making new friends. Hi, Joyce. Inspiring others. <laughs> Ever so hopeful one day, those in his past may still have a place in his future. The only way I can prove to myself and others is just stay sober just for today. That's all I can do. It's a living amends, especially to my daughter. Um, she's kind of, you know, not sure about dad yet, but, you know, it takes time. And those are things I must earn. Joel is thriving, not only with his sobriety, but he's now moved into a supervisory role, occasionally serving as volunteer captain there at Trinity Cafe, coordinating volunteers for Feeding Tampa Bay. What a story. They do some amazing things. They've given him uh, quite a lifeline, and he's taken it, and he really appreciates it. Mm. And uh, the positivity that he continues to share every single day is what's pretty impressive. And I really appreciate his bravery in sharing his full story. I mean, he was honest. Difficult story to tell. Not everyone mm -hmm. would want to share. Uh, but uh, Trinity Cafe does so much for so many in our community, wow. and he could not be more honored to be mm. a part of that. Pretty special.